Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. So in this episode I'll be taking out Cedar Behemoth again because I uh, made a mistake at the end of the last segment. I mean, not the last segment, the last attempt at this segment that ended up uh, meaning that I had to restart. I left Gao in the party when I was supposed to leap him off onto the belt when I uh, grabbed Shadow, so let's be quiet for a second. Alright, who are you? You are Sabin. His first attack is always Reflect Claw on Edgar. Because I've got Reflect, and he'll always do that first if I have Reflect on, but... And that'll obviously miss, so that's no big a deal. But his second attack could be worrisome. Alright, so who's this? This is Gao, good. Don't want it to be Edgar next. So Gao needs to vanish himself real quick, because he lost it. And now Edgar needs to set up Imp before the boss gets another turn. Alright, now let's hope everything went to plan. Good. Now I start Runa King just in case he decides to unimp himself and be dumb like that. You were Sabin, so... You just keep being Sabin. Alright, so this is Gao, so he's got to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And next should be Edgar, and he goes up to Tools. Didn't scroll anywhere in that menu, so go to Drill. Okay, now things get... Now things should fall into place, hopefully. Now when he uh, imps himself, Slash should runic that, because she's runicking. I think. Let's use Runic again just to make sure that I didn't forget that detail. She won't Runic Blaze, so that's okay. I'd Runic a... more times to get Celeste's turn out of the way, but that's... not oh, rats, I messed up Savage Splits. Again already. But the thing about Runicking is that if I select the command, it'll erase the last instance of Runic immediately. Alright, so now I do not want Ref Celeste to get creamed by a physical attack because then my uh, barrier against Runic will fall. I mean, barrier against him. It's hard to talk and play at the same time sometimes. That was another punch on the left side, not my side. Celeste dies in just one smack, so... But I think all attacks go towards the same character, so... If it hits someone on Banished to begin with, it'll hit someone on Banished to end with. But if he comes off an imp, he's gonna almost immediately start to beat me down, so... This team cannot handle a prolonged fight with him. Alright. Now I need to uh, throw a phoenix down on him. Which basically just means that I need to wait long enough. Yep. Long enough waited. Phoenix down, and then target him, and... Bam, as long as Celeste gets her turn off, that guy's dead. Not a difficult boss fight at all. It does require some amount of care, though. Because, uh... I can't be too slow at the beginning. I can't be, uh, too slow at killing him. But as long as I stay on the ball, it's fairly forgiving. So now just mash the button until I'm back in the maze and the Thameza music starts up because that tells me when Shadow's done having nightmares and stuff. Hear Interceptor bark a couple times, I guess. Never. 
everything just goes silent. You ruin the silence, Interceptor! That's why I don't have a dog, because they wake you up when you're trying to sleep. Gosh. This time, I'll do things right and actually save the game before I start messing around. All the way down. This time Shadow should join at level 6 like he's intended to. Pretty sure it will make literally no difference whatsoever, but if all I have to do, redo is this easy segment, I'll do it. Up one, left all the way. Down to the door. And out the other door. So now I just walk to the bottom of uh, the mesa to hit this house. Unfortunately, it's not super well lined up for me to just easily walk out, but I'll just do this a few times and then just walk out. There, good enough. Now it's save. Pretty sure I know the pitfall this time. And hope I don't think I should run into another one. So let's just take the blindfold off for now. Shouldn't have uh, dumped it on the floor like that. Now I'm gonna have to get it all set up again. Alright then, let's land. Music change here. Alright, just walk up and down until I get a fight. Down, up, down. Alright, I should be standing on the airship. You're just the last out of the way. I don't care who you are out of the way. Good work, Edgar. <laughs> he casted him. There we go. Now that Gav's out of the way. Be too careless this time around. So let's put Sabin up in the front and sort my item inventory because it's a huge mess. And put the striker up at the top so all I have to do is mash A when I'm in the Coliseum otherwise I have to go and find the striker which is a pain in the butt. Now I'll just go to the Coliseum, land right in front of it, and hopefully we can finally call this segment a day, which I should have been able to do a while ago. Just press the B button and hold up. Walk up to this guy. Just pressing A should be good enough. Because I choose the right dialogue option. I select the striker like I'm supposed to. Oh, there's no one in the first slot. Eh, well, close enough. I know where Sabin is anyway. Hey, you punched me, you jerk! Good use of blitz. And he doesn't have something dumb like a uh, soul spiral, so <laughs> I'm not gonna make that mistake. And now we walk out of here. Really. Oh wait, I was already on save. Well, let's just end this segment. Oh wait, I was on item. I forgot. And now I'm on config. Not even 10 minutes. See you next time.